Well, we're nine games in and we're in the playoff positions. I'd say that's a success, but success could also be measured by our cup performance and we'd start our FA Cup campaign today. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2019. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and welcome to part three of season one of The Journeyman with Darlington. And in today's episode, we are taking on Southport in the Vanarama National League, and we're also taking on Sutton Coalfield in the FA Cup second qualifying round. Since you were last with us, uh, things have, have gone okay, I guess. Um, this is something I learned off TIJ, auto size all columns, uh, and that sorts everything out. But um, yeah, we lost against Kidderminster in the last match on camera, and uh, since then our home form has been pretty poor. We drew 2 2 against Alti, uh, we were 2 0 down against them in that game, but we did come back to draw 2 2, which, you know, is a positive. We then uh, won 1-0 against Ashton United away from home, Simon Ainge getting the goal there. We then drew 0-0 with Alfreton and uh, one all with AFC Telford. So we've drew three of the last four games, which isn't ideal. We'd like to uh, hopefully uh, get more points on the board than that. But the positive is we are in the playoff positions at the moment. Seventh uh, with 15 points after nine games. Six points off leaders Hereford and uh, well above any sort of relegation worries, which is very, very good. Um, so yeah, let's have a, a little look at a couple of the transfers that we've brought in since the last episode. There has been a, a few Zayn Mohammed. We were looking at him in the last episode, we've brought him in on loan from Accrington Stanley. Um, he hasn't actually played yet, but looks pretty decent. We've also brought in Luke Walsh um, on a free transfer. Crew and uh, Man City are uh, some of his former employers. He had a terrible first game for us, but looks pretty good, pretty versatile. Uh, he can play anywhere across the front, sort of four if you like, and uh, has potential to get up to League 2, which is very, very good. And we also signed Eriko Souza from Accrington as well. I wonder if we've got any sort of uh, affiliation with them. Um, I'm pretty sure we don't. No, we don't. Seems weird, but uh, yeah, uh, we signed him from Accrington. Stanley He's a four-star player, played okay in his, his only match for us. Five-star potential i.e. League 2 potential, but he should be a good player for both Vanarama national sides, so I think he'll be a pretty good player on the right-hand side for us this year. Squad performances, top goal scorer is Simon Ainge with six goals from seven starts, four for Stitch and two for Henschel as well. Top assists is Nicholson with three and Thompson with three as well. Top average rating, 7.2 for Simon Ainge, and uh, everybody else is on a six apart from Luke Walsh, the aforementioned Luke Walsh. But anyway, let's have a look at the team for today. We're still going with the, the direct counter-attack um, that you know, has worked fairly well so far this season, it has to be said. Uh, we're going to have Madison in goal. We're going to have Trotman, Collins, Byrne and Galbraith in defence with Elliot and Wheatley in the middle. And Thompson and Nicholson start behind Ainge and Stitch up top. So I think... For the third consecutive episode, we're naming the same starting lineup in the first match of the two, which, you know, I, I, I like the consistency. I feel like I've, I've got to know the team uh, fairly well and, and um, you know, that this is my best 11, if you like. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm quite happy with how things are going so far. Thank you for all the support on the series. It's been amazing. The amount of likes has, has been wonderful. Um, and it honestly does mean a lot, and it really motivates us to to keep going uh with the 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 daily content and uh two two videos a day over the beta which hopefully you're enjoying the the, the newcastle stuff as well um just sort of trying to learn the game in that other series have a bit of fun uh, experimenting with a few things but here's thompson on the ball gets it into the middle and uh we almost had another set piece goal there 
They, they have been quite common in FM18 so far, obviously. Uh, sorry, FM19 so far. It's going to take a while uh, to get used to saying that. But, um, yeah, uh, they've been quite common. The, the developers have obviously been watching England at the World Cup and uh, and taking a leaf out of their book. But, uh, no, seriously, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Um, and, and, you know, keep it coming. I, I really do. Um it, it really does mean a lot. So, what is annoying though is that we, we've got to half time. It's still nil nil. We only really had the one chance. Um, I guess we'll say we're not doing badly. Let's go out and win. But w rather worryingly, that the players don't seem to be taken to me, which I guess happens when uh, you know you've got no experience, no badges. Um, it only takes a couple of dodgy results for for the players to think, well, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. But uh, you know, maybe we can snatch a victory today and um, turn their heads a little bit. But here's Wheatley now, Galbraith. That's just poor. I, I've noticed that a lot with the the wing backs um, putting the crosses into the middle. They've they've been very poor recently. Here's Stitch. Stitch on the ball now, Nicholson, he's pushing forward, how can he do, he gets it into the middle and Wheatley puts it in the back of the net, that is a good cross along the floor and Wheatley was there to put it into the bottom right corner and it's 1-0 after 62 minutes, what effect does that have on the league table, first we'll have a look at a replay of it, Stitch got it forward towards Nicholson and uh, he went for the low cross and Wheatley was there, lovely side foot, uh, finish there and that moves us up to fifth place in the league table really really pleased with that and uh, you know our expectation is just to finish in the playoffs this year obviously it would be wonderful if we could uh, win the league at first time of asking but I, I want to build something at Darlington obviously we don't have the restrictions this year that we did last goodness me the, the time has, uh, has got on a little bit uh, we don't have the restrictions that we had last year um, where we had to leave after three seasons so you know that gives us the the option of uh, potentially even taking Darlington all the way to the Premier League but um, you know that's not going to happen <laughs> let's be honest but um, no I'm, I'm really looking forward to to, to building them and, and hopefully getting them back into the, the football league eventually that is the ultimate goal but 1-0 that is a, a good little victory for us there uh, people had written us off before that and uh, now for a little bit of a break from league action and we'll go and see what the FA Cup's all about well here we are for the second match then for the FA Cup game against Sutton Coldfield now there um, in ch 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 Division 1 Central, whatever that is. I haven't got the, the, the real name fix in there yet. So I think they're a couple of divisions below us at least. Um, so that th this should be a team that we beat. And hopefully we can inject a little bit of confidence into the side. Just the one change for this match. We've brought Mohamed in uh, to centre back to make his debut today. Uh, so hopefully... Um, that'll be good, and uh, and we can see what he's all about. Uh, we have had a little bit of a squad mutiny in between matches. Uh, David Sears, uh, somebody in the, the, the subs bench, isn't happy with the amount of first-team football he's getting, so he's basically kicking up a fuss, and, and half the players agreed with him. So, yeah, a little bit... Uh, a little bit of drama, but uh, it doesn't faze me. You know, we're getting results. The board are happy with us. That's all I really care about. There's such a high uh, player turnover at this level that, you know, most of these players that we've got in this year will probably not be here this time next year. You know, uh, once we've sort of built our own squad, I'm, I'm still in the process of, of getting a scout network together to try and. And really build for the future. This first year is just about transition for me. And Stitch has got the goal. He was the player that was mourning the most about it. And uh, look at him. He's not even celebrating the goal there. But uh, it got a goal nonetheless. And that's all I care about. I don't care if you celebrate. All I care about is results. So there you go. Another wonderful cross from Thompson. And, and a good little header there from uh, Reese Stitch. And it is 1-0. So... Yeah, I'd really like a, a little cup run this year. Would be amazing. Here's Trotman, and again a, a, another poor 
uh, cross from him. That's into the middle and Stitch is there again and that is just wide. Uh, so he's having a, a good little game today which is, is good to see. Very good to see. Here's uh, Christie gets it into the middle and oh, forces a a covering save from the goalkeeper. It didn't uh, quite hit him though, so I guess the keeper had it covered, is what you could say. But uh, it was a, a strong header, most definitely. Half an hour in, we're one nil up. Uh, but you know, as I said before, we're expecting to win this match and uh, and get through the next round. Here, Stitch with the shot, and it's two nil. Stitch gets both goals. Stephen Thompson, another assist there. Another one of uh, those low crosses into the middle, which is uh, is absolutely brilliant. Um, and uh, that that was absolutely lovely, lovely little cross there, and a good finish from Stitch. And that that's two nil uh, now, which is comfortable. We we should be looking at, at getting through to the next round now. Let's see if there's any any names we recognise down here in the the latest scores. Uh, main one I'm looking at uh, Lancaster. The misses goes to University in Lancaster. Oh. Uh, I think we've just uh, zoomed out, unfortunately. Don't get complacent. There we go. So we'll uh, zoom in a little bit more again. But uh, the pitch is in quite nice condition, considering we're you know, in the depths of non-league. Um, that's one thing I haven't noticed about any of the pitches so far, as we've got the very annoying motorbike outside. Go away, is what I say to that. Um... I haven't noticed any big mud patches on the on the pitch like we we had last year, which I don't know whether that's something they're going to patch in or just not something in the game this year. Nicholson into the middle, stitches there, and what a save that is from the goal. How was how was that not a save? It looked like it hit off his hand, maybe it hit off the bar instead. We'll make a, a, a substitution though uh, to keep us going. We'll bring Eric Souza on, and um, we'll bring on Ciaz. See if we can. Sort of tempt him to, uh, to get out of his huff, but uh, no, t another good performance. You know, we're 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 grinding through matches, and that's what you've got to do at this level. You know, we're not going to be playing ticker tacker football. We 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 just want results, and uh, it's such a up and down part of football in non-league. You know, you can but we can win two nil here and, and go and lose four nil the the next week. It's uh, it's very up and down, but uh, overall, I think we've played well in t in today's episode. We've got two victories on the board. We've got our FA Cup run going. I think we need to win two more matches to get the first round proper. So that is going to be tough, and that is going to be the target. But if you have enjoyed this episode, then make sure you do leave a like down below. Really, really does help me out. Means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager 2019 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.